guys so yeah if you are receiving this message when you're trying to launch your GTA from Steam or whatsoever I have the solution so first of all you navigate to your documents Rockstar games and delete these two folders just delete it okay once you have done that go to the other folder which is the the one that you installed the launcher and then delete this too once you have deleted that go to your fire firewall advanced settings and then inbound rules you have a few one two or five GTA firewall rules okay so delete both of them yeah once you've done that now you have to navigate to your steam folder then steam apps common grand theft auto 5 and then installers so you notice you have deleted two of the folders just now these folders and this so what you do now is install both of them back install both of them back so once you have done then the next tab is crucial so go to your network go to change adapter options then navigate to your network driver the one that you're using right now properties and then change your DNS server address to this it's I'm suppose you're using automatic DNS server but then please change it because it solves the issue so once you change it it's disable and then enable again so once you have done that you can try going on to going on to steam then launch GTA online and try so it's loading okay, so now it's loading just gonna wait for a while before it loads us into online There you have it. Okay. Okay, so yeah, there you have it. You are in the game. And then you go to here to see if you can purchase stuff. Okay, so initially, if you have that bug, you are unable to purchase anything because it just says out of stock, out of stock. So now, yeah, you are able to. Yeah. I'll show you okay guys so we are in and then I'll show you that my garage still has the cars so yeah these are my cars they're all here yep they are here so that's how I solve the issue that's all thank you please leave a like subscribe and thing I hope I solve your issue thank you and enjoy your GTA 5 online